talk about what it's like being back and uh, how it felt out there. Uh, it feels great to be back. Um, you know, just uh, really grinding with my teammates. Um, it really feels good. Uh, it was a little, uh, I think I was a little uh, too excited, uh, excited at first, but uh, it feels good, like I said, just to be back out there with those guys and really working towards one goal. Rusty at all, or did you feel like you got right there? Uh, uh, more so uh, anxious, I think. Um, I, I think we saw that at the first of practice, but uh, as it uh, continued along, I you know, kind of calmed down and uh, was able to hit my receivers. Ever, do you feel like you're an improved quarterback? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, just <clears throat> everything I've been through, um, the training that I've had, uh, you know, I feel more mature for one um, and a more polished quarterback now. Ever, um, can you talk a little bit about the George Whitfield experience, mm -hmm. how much time you spent with him, what you got out of it? And a lot of people wonder, you know, was that really expensive and difficult to be able to afford that? Oh, yeah, it was. It was. Um, but, you know, I had to I had to make it, you know, had, had to make ends meet, I guess. Um, my time out there with him was really great. Uh, you know, we uh, really learned and kind of sat down and talked about the actual science of being a quarterback and playing the quarterback position. Um, talking about the footwork, talking about the you know mechanics and um, you know different things. Um, so I mean, it, I've changed so much. I think um, that goes back to even you know me throwing with the laces now. I'm um, starting to see a difference with that, um, more control on the ball. Um, so I think my time out there has helped me uh, tremendously. Is that a hard sell? Getting him to convince you to throw laces after not doing it for a with the laces you said? Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, at first, I, you know, we kind of went back and forth about it, but uh, I decided I was going to give it a try, and um, you know, I really liked it. Um, and I'm still getting used to it now, as uh, far as on quick games and stuff like that. But um, it's like I said, I can see a, a difference for sure. How's your first few days with Coach Lafleur been? Oh, it's been great. Um, you know, he well, what has it been like two weeks now? So we're in there. Um, it, it's been great, though. Um, you know, he's a guy that really, uh, you know, wants it. And, you know, I'm a guy that really wants it as, as well. So I think uh, us coming together on with, with that in mind um, only helps uh, our connection. Every you're throwing to a new bunch of wide receivers. What do you see from that group, and what are the challenges getting to know them? Uh, I like the team. Um, you know, I like our wide receivers. I like our old linemen um, as well. Uh, Yes, I'm throwing to a lot of new guys, um, so that was important for me to uh, really win. As soon as I got back here, was you know we're throwing, you know we got to get you know this connect, we got to establish this connection. Um, but you know I like the team, as I said, um, and I like I really like the skill group that we have. Everett, what did you miss when you were gone about being here? What did I miss? Like I said, just the grind really uh, with my teammates. Um, you know you kind of. Uh, when I was away, you know, I was still grinding, uh, but it was more so, you know, uh, by myself or, you know, something like that. But, um, you know, just being back here and um, really, you know, having that camaraderie with, you know, your teammates, uh, it, uh, it it feels great, really. How tough was it to, to be away? Oh, it was real tough. Um, I think I, it really hit me <clears throat> um, the first game, Temple game. Um, I was actually in Chicago. and. Uh, you know, I, I saw them, you know, getting ready and getting, getting geared up for the game, and I was watching, you know, the game on TV. And I think that's what it really hit me that, you know, you're not there anymore. Um, and so, you know, I went through that whole process of, you know, first feeling uh, humiliated for one, um, but uh, then coming back around to where I am now of, uh, you know, me being back here and, you know, getting ready to go. How much do you regret what happened? Uh, I regret it in a sense, um, but I think it, uh, allowed me to grow so much, um, you know. As I was talking about before, my maturity level is completely different now. Um, I had some time to really sit back and think uh, on what I did and you know how I can move forward from that. Um, so I think I'm a, a different person because of. It. What happened ever? What Far did you, as what did you do? Uh, I'm not going to talk about that. I mean, I kind of you know talked about that before or previously. Uh, I think now it's more so about me moving forward. Um, and like I said, getting back around the guys and you know, getting uh, learning as much as I can from Coach Lafleur and uh, Coach Kelly. Yeah, in terms of just the balance between football life and academic life, that whole thing, what did what did you learn through that process? Have you made changes to help you balance that better? Help you stay? You said, what have I learned through the process? Yeah, just in terms of balancing class life, football life, and uh, you're staying on track. 
Well, I think, you know, I'm more so of, a, of an older guy now. Um, so it wasn't, you know, where, like, like I said, where I am now is I wasn't there um, when I first came in. You know, I can admit to that. Um, but it's, it's part of the process. It's part of me growing. Um, and I think, uh, you know, the coaches around me and, uh, you know, even, you know, my support system just helping me to do a better job of, you know, uh, really balancing those things and, you know, having attention to both, you know, your academics and football. You're a guy. Any, um, about, you know, how, how you came down or did anyone in the state talk to you about, you know, that sort of thing when you came back? Say that one more time. Did any students or anyone, any fans talk to you about, you know, the, let the team down. down. No, uh, I think uh, everybody has been very uh, welcoming of me. Uh, I've, I've not really, you know, received no uh, animosity or anything like that. Um, everything that's from my classmates to my professors to, sorry, whoever I think that was, uh, <laughs> to uh, you know my teammates and everything. You know, they've been uh, very receptive of me. So, uh, you know, that, that that's 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 a good part. Did you address the team when you first got back in January? Uh, I did not. Uh, it wasn't like I held a team meeting or anything like that. But, uh, you know, I was just back talking with the guys. And um, like I said, everybody's been, you know, really there for me um, through the whole thing. It wasn't like I, you know, just cut off complete um, the connection from them. For example, Sheldon sitting right here, uh, you know, we was in conversation almost, you know, weekly. So I would definitely talk to those guys. Um, so uh, it was more of, I guess, like, you know, rejoicing or anything like that, or happy that, you know, I'm back now. This point about a year ago, I mean, probably a million things are going through your mind. I mean, were you sure you were going to take the path to bring you back to Notre Dame? Were you thinking of just going somewhere else? And no, and another no, not at all. Uh, like I said, I know I messed up. I knew I messed up. So, uh, you know, for me, I had to come back and, uh, you know, complete what I kind of started. Did, did other teams reach out to you, though, other schools? reach out to you to see if you were committed to coming back to Notre Dame? Uh, I think they did. I'm not sure because I wasn't really handled. I, I, it wasn't coming directly to me. But but through a third party? I would think, yeah, I would think so. And then, you know, when you get into this process, you're, you're not anticipating it. There's no template for it. Did you at one point consider, hey, maybe I'll play in junior college this year to no. stay sure? You didn't no. consider that at all? No, not at all. Everett, what do you feel like you need to prove this season or accomplish? I, need to prove. Uh, I don't feel like I need to prove anything. I mean, I think for me is, and as it's always been, was, you know, me bettering myself um, in order to better this team. Um, I think that's what I've tried to strive for, uh, you know, when I first even got here. Um, so that's what it's about for me. You've been back for a few months just readjusting yourself to that academic lifestyle. How is that? transition back to school kind of gone for you? Because you, you were working on football, you know, yeah, but now you're yeah, back to school yeah. and actually in class. Uh, I mean, honestly, I feel a little rejuvenated, to be honest. Uh, but it's been good, man. Like I said, the, you know, the teachers and the uh, professors are, uh, you know, you know, really receptive mm -hmm. for me, I guess. And, uh, you know, everything's going, you know, swell in there. What's the transition like from being the freshman, the guy with a lot of potential that, that's doing big things, to now you're kind of a veteran on this team. You're expected right. to be a, sort of a, a leader, a playmaker for this group. Um, well, I think uh, if that leader, you know, leadership ability is in you, um, it'll show eventually or, you know, when, when you're called on. Um, so I think uh, not only being a freshman, I think at that point I was still leading, um, you know, to a certain extent. I think now it's more heightened, I would say, because our, our team is so young this year, but uh, it, it's been great. Uh, you know, I think like that, that that's the spot that, you know, I want to be at and um, I was kind of born to be at, I would say in a sense. Um, so like I said, you know, when, you know, it, it happens, you know, leadership steps to the front. Are you surprised that you've been so positively received after kind of what happened? Oh uh, yeah, uh, to be honest. Um, but that just talks about the character of the school, um, you know, just really giving a second chance um, and not really, you know, like I said, I don't really hear too too many comments or negative comments. So uh, receiving me well like that uh, really helped, helped me out in my transition back here. Once the season gets started, you probably will face some adversity, whether it's, mm -hmm. you know, from national media or whatever. How are you prepared to handle maybe some scrutiny that could be coming your way? Uh, just keep focused on my tasks. Um, not necessarily getting into the outside things, just 
uh, knowing what I'm here for and knowing what I, I want to do and uh, what I want to help this team do. And you mentioned you came here to get your unfinished business done. What is your unfinished business here? Uh, I got a couple. I mean, just uh, like I said, lead this team to victory. Um, obviously, you know, we want to win a uh, championship here. Uh, I, I don't think nobody comes here if they don't. Uh, so definitely winning the championship. How often did you talk with Brian Kelly while you were away? And did he set any requirements outside of what the university expected for you? For requirements, as far as what? Just discussing, you know, what was going on with you, the team. Uh, I, I've talked to him, um, you know, briefly. I talked to uh, Coach Martin, who was here um, a good bit, just kind of checking in and uh, that whole type of thing. Um, so, yeah, uh, yeah, we have had the discussion. And did they expect anything out of you more than, like, outside of what the university did? Like, I don't know what you mean. Away, like, like, let's say, evaluating what the team was doing and um, keeping up with I mean, I, I think that's on me too. I mean, I don't, I don't think he really had a requirement. I just think me coming back is, okay, you're getting back. You have to know this team, um, and I think that does require you watching film and um, staying in, you know, contact with your with your teammates and things like that. What was a typical day look? Assuming that you're the starting quarterback, you still get to prove and win the job. Say that one more time. You you come in as assuming you're the starting quarterback, but you still get to win the job back. Uh, I think you know I have to win the job. Um, you know, nothing is given to you. <laughs> um, I, I've, I've learned that since I was young. Um, so, but l l like I said before, it's just me uh, trying to really better myself um, and hoping everything kind of take care of, it, uh, of itself at the end. What was a typical day like with Whitfield, uh, whether it's breakdown, you know, field work or, or watching mm -hmm. film? How, what was sort of a typical day? Well, we were on the field. Uh, we'll wake up early. I will be on the field maybe two hours. Um, like I said, it wasn't. Sometimes it wasn't that intensive of, of throwing that many balls. Sometimes it was just, you know, we work on footwork and working on actually pointing your finger and stuff like that. Just, just, I'm sorry, uh, just little nuances uh, to, like I said, the you know science behind being a quarterback. Um, followed that by, uh, you know, I just finished up, up the day there and I would probably go work out, um, something like that. How much did you learn? over that, that six month span or however long you were there with him in terms of being a quarterback? and uh, I learned a lot. Uh, I think I've grown the most, uh, you know, in the film room, uh, but that's because I'm kind of a film junkie. Uh, but, you know, I, I think I've grown the most in that, uh, that aspect, you know, just really seeing the game for what it was and it, it's allowed me to, you know, slow the game down, you know, as I play it now. There were some times today when we were out there where I saw you with um, Coach Lafleur, and you're like pointing things out. Now, is oh. that you understanding what he wants you to learn, or is that you actually telling him this is what I'm seeing and what we're doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The latter. Yeah, a little bit of both. Whitfield's kind of famous for some unorthodox skills and mm. drill stuff. What was some of the wilder things that you did with him? Uh, let me think. I, I can't point it out. I mean, I, we, we did, a, did a couple drills with the broom. Um, been in the water a couple of times. I know you guys see that. Uh, I'm trying to think, man. I, I don't really know. Um, it, it was, like you said, some uh, unorthodox stuff, but you know, it, it's really helped me out a lot, though. I think. And as much as you said, you kind of just take care of yourself, let everything fall into place. BK was in here before and said, we're going to go as far as ever it can take us as mm -hmm. an offense. How, how do you sort of process that responsibility and that pressure? Um, I don't feel the pressure. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, it's more so of a platform for me. I feel like, uh, you know, if he, you know, said that, I feel like that is where I want to be. Um, I want to be, you know, in, in, in the front and have that leadership role to, like I said, lead these guys to victory. What was the feeling like throwing that number five jersey on today, the helmet, and just walking out and getting on the field? Oh, it was crazy. Um, it was crazy. Uh, I think, like I said before, it was a little, I want, I want to say surreal in a sense, but, uh, you know, it, it, I felt accomplished for, you know, a, a split moment, um, you know, that I've went through what I went through and now I'm back and, you know, I'm moving forward now and, you know, still continuing that process of, you know, trying to grind and be better. Obviously you spent a lot of time working on technique, but it's been a full year since you've had pads on and been in a full game playing that type of thing. You worried at all about picking that part of it up and have a little rush in that part of your game? Uh, no, nah, I'm not worried about it. How do you feel you know, 
15 pounds out here. What, what's the purpose behind that? What do you think you're going to be able to do now that you weren't able to do two years ago here? Uh, I think it makes me more durable. Uh, being 15 pounds heavier, uh, you know, I, I'm able to still move as I will. I think I've actually got a little faster, to be honest. Um, but, you know, it, I feel good at this weight that I'm at. Have you been in touch with the bars just about going through something? Yeah, similar yeah. Like yeah. Share well, he was actually up here last weekend. Um, and so he came over and, you know, we were talking and, you know, just, you know, really wrapping uh, him up in it. Um, you know, just kind of going through the same situation, uh, just encouraging them, um, letting them know that everything was going to be fine. And, you know, he, he's good. Um, you know, he's working out and, you know, doing his thing. So, uh, you know, I just can't wait to get him back. How do you feel the dynamic is now that you've got a quarterback behind you that's got slimmer, similar uh, skill set? Um, they don't have to change the offense much. Is that, does that push you more? Is that going to make you work harder to – to know that you got a guy just you know that can do a lot of the same things that yeah. you can. I mean, well, I see it as competition. Um, you know, either way, whether it was two years ago with Tommy or you know now in the league, um, I see it as competition. And like you said, it, it can only make you better. It's going to push you. Um, so, yeah. You mentioned kind of that humiliation feeling, especially mm -hmm. early on. What was maybe one of the lower moments for you when you were? Like I said, when it it really hit me, the day of that game. Um, and, you know, you see everybody, you know, even on the walk, and you're just sitting there watching it on the TV, and you know that's where you're supposed to be. Uh, so it, it really hurt me uh, from that aspect. Everett, did you get back to campus for any of the games or see them play in person on the road anywhere? I did not. Not even at the bowl game? No, I did not. I did, and not. did you visit with them at all when in New York? Did you end up getting up there to – yeah, uh, you know, I saw a couple of the guys, because um, I was actually in New York at the time, but I saw a couple of the guys um, and, you know, kind of talked to them, but uh, I did, did not get to the game. Why <clears> did you not go to the game? Did you do that kind of on purpose? Uh, not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily. I knew you guys would be after me, though. Anything else? When you were in California, did you stay with Malvi? Oh, I did not. <laughs> yeah, um, I stayed. I actually did stay with him a couple of weeks, uh, but you know, I like you know not the whole time. So. Okay. Yeah. How long were you working with uh, Whitfield? How long were you at his camp? Uh, it was. I want to say roughly two months, maybe a little bit shorter. Do you think you'll ever do that again? Like in the off season, would you ever want to go? Back. And spend time again. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I think, like I said, you know, things that he teaches, uh, you know, I think that helped me out so much. Um, it's not necessarily of, uh, you know, by the book, like, he's, like you were saying, it's uh, very unorthodox, but I think it really uh, applies to the game. Um, and so I think that helped me out a lot. Who are some of the other guys you maybe got to work out with or see work when you were out there? Actually, nobody, nobody at all. <laughs> to be yeah. honest, yeah, because everybody was in – you know, fall and you know stuff like that. So they were playing games while I was out there working. Good. Okay. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Seth.